Well, greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Thursday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're continuing in Proverbs chapter 3 and this morning looking at verse 24 from the New Living Translation. But let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. And Lord, we just pray as we come into your holy presence that you will uh, welcome us with open arms, that you will give us rest as we pause and reflect on your word. Speak a word of encouragement and hope into our hearts, we pray. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So Proverbs 3, verse 24. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. As Solomon is continuing on this thought, this um, encouragement for his child, this encouragement to seek the Lord's discernment, uh, the Lord's wisdom, to discern his wisdom and his instruction with common sense. He says, you can go to bed without fear. When we, when we seek the Lord's wisdom with a discerning heart, when we use common sense, which he has placed within us, we are without fear. Doesn't mean that we don't, we're not concerned or, or um, even maybe sometimes, depending on the cir circumstance, are anxious. But we needn't fear because we know that the Lord is with us. He is there to protect us. He is there to encourage us, to strengthen us for our journey. And, and so we are able to live without fear. The scripture says that he has given us a spirit not of fear. He, he has not placed within us a spirit of fear. But he's given us a, a spirit of hope. A spirit of faith. As we trust in him. And so as, as Solomon is encouraging us. He says, in, and we looked at this on Tuesday, he says, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. As our world um, seems to be uh, turning away from common sense, and we see wars and rumors of wars all around us, we see political unrest and society is in a in a sense in unrest disease it's easy for us to lose sight of common sense in our world of social media it's very easy for us to go down a rabbit hole um, that leads to despair and fear and indeed our world preys on fear it fuels a spirit of fear but when we have a spirit of common sense when we do not lose sight of common sense and have a, a heart a discerning heart that seeks after God's own heart that seeks after his wisdom and his encouragement we don't fear. We don't have a spirit of fear within us. Satan wants us to have a spirit of fear within us. But God does not. He wants us to revere him, to worship him, and to seek him with our whole heart. And when we do, when we, when we, when we don't lose sight of common sense and we have a discerning heart, we go to bed without fear. We go to bed without fear. And he says, you will lie down and sleep soundly. Anyone who has experienced a dark night of the soul and, and, and has faced difficult situations in their lives know that it can be difficult to sleep when, you, when your life is in turmoil, when you 
are maybe facing health issues or financial issues or relationship issues that, that cause you anxiety and stress. And, and you know that it can be difficult to sleep when you're in those times. And there's no, there's no quick fix for, for those kinds of things. But it is in those times, in those dark nights of the soul, when we have to trust in the Lord even more. Someone said we often meet Jesus in the most profound and real way in the ditch of life. When we're when things are running along smoothly and 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 seamlessly we we can often um, not rely on God quite as much as we ought to but when we're in the ditch of life when we're in those dark nights of the soul that's when we need God the most and that's when we often find him most clearly and most profoundly. And when we replace that spirit of fear with a spirit of hope and trust and faith, we're able to sleep peacefully because we know that we are in the hands of God. Our lives are entrusted to Him. And he will never abandon or forsake us. And he will never lead us to destruction. And that doesn't mean that, that we won't face trials and tribulations and we won't have storms to navigate in our lives. We will. As Charles Stanley used to say, there are three seasons in our lives. We're either coming out of a stormy season, approaching a stormy season, or in the midst of a stormy season. And our hope, our faith is built on the, the fact that God will lead us through those seasons. And so we trust in Him. And we do not fear, but we trust in Him. And when we place our lives, when we surrender our lives to Him, and place our hope, our faith in Him alone, we do not have a spirit of fear. And we are able to sleep soundly. Friends, it, it's sometimes easy to say these things. It's another thing to actually live them. And I speak from experience when I say that I have had my own seasons, dark nights of the soul, where I have had <clears throat> challenging times to deal with. But I can assure you that when you trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, He will lead you through those periods. And when you come out the other side, you are stronger for it. And you're able to face the next one, and there will be a next one. Uh, you are able to face the next one with greater strength and greater courage because of what the Lord has led you through already. And so I commend you to seek the Lord with your whole heart. Trust in Him, and He will not forsake you. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your Word, which challenges us, sometimes um, convicts us. Lord, we don't like the dark nights of the soul. We don't like the seasons of tribulation and challenge and trial. But Lord, we know that You refine us in your fire and you lead us through those seasons to equip us to help us 
grow in our faith and our trust in you and to strengthen us for our journey. And so, Lord, we surrender ourselves to your will, Lord, to your leading, believing that you will strengthen us for our journey with you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.